Hello everyone, welcome back. So this morning we were blessed with this beautiful trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine and it opens up with Wolverine at a bar which is notoriously known for being at a bar. His video game his video game trailers has him in the bar. Then we see Wade coming in trying to talk to him and he tries picking up Wolverine. Wolverine takes his claws out. He gets made fun of because his, this always, this, there, there always has to be a scene with Wolverine struggling to get his claws out. But anyways, we see a, we see a glimpse of his yellow sh suit. We see them bickering, and uh, Paradox tells us this. Uh, Paradox tells us that this Wolverine let his world die. So I'm still wondering if this is the Wolverine from the Logan timeline, or from the fox universe timeline the one the movies we grew up grew up with i guess another thing another thing i kind of wanted to point out was that the that i th when when i heard that wolverine was going to be in this movie i imagined him being in his prime actively working with the x-men like x-men the animated series x-men 97 which on a side note i have been watching a lot of x-men and I'm I am on an X Men fever. I've been watching the X Men animated series, trying to catch up to X Men '97. Been watching those X those early X Men movies again. But what I wanted to say, what I wanted to say was that I thought this was an I thought this was a Wolverine that was in his prime, actively working with the X Men. But no, I think what's gonna happen is that in this trailer we see that that Wolverine failed his world. And he is now in the in the unknown in the wasteland that was and that that was prevalent in Loki and I guess he failed this world but but what I wanted to say was that this Wolverine is down on his luck everybody hates him he failed everyone and we've seen that in the Wolverine and in Logan and it's been kind of done already, but I just wanted to see a Prime Wolverine in action, in live action. But it's okay, I'm not complaining because because Hugh Jackman is back and I love the guy. He's like a perfect Wolverine. But anyways, we see Wolverine and Deadpool fighting. It's freaking awesome. We see a lot of rated all violence. Wolverine attacking Deadpool's bonds. We see him. Sh we see Deadpool shooting guns in his ribs, which looks really cool. And Deadpool is asking him, "Okay, tell me about your dark past." And Wolverine's just like, "No, like f get out get out of here." But then we see a cool shot of wo of Wolverine with his sleeves off, which was a big complaint for some reason that people were having about his suit. Oh, he doesn't his sleeves on. There's that on. I'm sure there's a scene where he rips them off, but here it is, in full glory, his arms ripped off, the, I mean the sleeves, and I mean he looks great, it looks comic accurate, the suit looks really good too, I can't believe they put that much detail into the suit, it actually looks like it's from the comic book, and Deadpool is just telling him, please save my world, like you know more about it than I do, you, you were the X-Men. And then we see a cool shot of Wolverine's claws coming out. And they look really cool. Like the attention to that. Like the metal. How it looks too. Like my god. We see another shot of Deadpool killing some TVA agents. And then we get to the big shot of Cassandra Nova. Which is Professor X's sister in the comics. And we see her walking out. Followed by more Deadpool and Wolverine action. And uh, we see Cassandra Nova and Elioth from Loki. We see Giant Man's skull. So I don't know if it's Scott Lang's or Hank Pym's head. But we see it open up. And and uh, which, what happens to be inside is Cassandra Nova's own cerebrum. Which is funny because it's inside a person's skull. But, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. That shot of of Ant Man's like dead head is kind of terrifying. But 
this movie is rated R, so it makes sense. You know, you're not gonna have little kids come and see this, but that's cool though. We see a shot of the hot rod, which is at, which is most likely the hot rod from Captain America: The First Avenger, the Hydra one, the Hydra one just modded. We see more shots of Deadpool and Wolverine, and we get we get a little glimpse of Dead Dead Deadpool dog, which it, it's been rumored that there's gonna be a lot of uh, Deadpool variants in this movie and Wolverine variants even. But we see cause we see Wolverine trying to take a slash at Cassandra Nova. Cassandra Nova has her telepathic abilities, and see a and see. She stops Wolverine from attacking, and uh, we see this like we see a glimpse. It's like less than one second, but we see a little wallpaper moment from Deadpool and Wolverine. Looks really fucking cool. We see more action, and then we get the lines, "Let's freaking go!" And it just reminds me of me as a gamer when, you know. But I want to get to the last shot of the trailer, which is really cool. You, you see a Doctor Strange portal open up, and Deadpool, and Wolverine, jumping into it. Which I want to say, I'm not sure if some of the movies gonna take place in the MCU, or if this is gonna be the last shot of the movie, or if they're just hopping and if they're just hopping onto another universe, because I know somewhere along the lines, Jennifer Garner's Elektra makes an appearance, a cameo. And I'm not sure if James Marston Cyclops appears, but that would be really cool if he did. But whether or not, wh wh wherever they're hopping to, I know it has to be something like really, really cool. And they're obviously keeping it a secret for the movie. And I just want to say that that shot, I want to go back to that shot of the giant Ant-Man head. Because if you look closely, you see, you can see Azalees from First Class. And Lady Deathstrike from X Men 2, and that's really cool. I think Toad, yeah, Toad is in there too. Toad is definitely in there. Where is it? Yeah, Toad is in there too, and there's gonna be a lot more cameos. Pyro is there too. I see Pyro. He was in the first trailer too, actually. He had a line. But, anyways, this trailer looks really cool. I hope it does really well too, because. I'm because I, the people the the only people that are holding on to the MCU or like really like hardcore diehard fans if this movie flops then there's like no hope no future for the MCU but I'm sure this movie is going to be great this movie is going to prove to everyone that the MCU is going to be back in their feet hopefully it is you know, I, I I've been kind of like I, I've been kind of like like I don't know. I've been kind of hesitant to like watch like new Marvel media because I I hated some of the recent projects like Ant-Man 3 and Thor Love and Thunder even though Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was amazing. That movie was really great. But other than that, I hope this movie does well. I hope after this we can get more excited for the next movies because keep in mind this is the only movie coming out this is the only Marvel movie coming out this year which is really crazy next year we're gonna have Fantastic Four and the Brave New World with Sam's Captain America and Fantastic Four which is rumored to be in an entirely separate universe and but hopefully oh wait I think Thunderbolts is gonna be next year too that's crazy but anyways that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please, if you if you want to subscribe, go ahead. It's free. If you want to like the video, that would be really helpful too. And I appreciate the support in any way. And you guys have a great night. And I'll see you later.